Welcome, my geekers and my blurts. Yes, what's up, geek gang? How are y'all doing? I am Lainey. I'm Jay. And we are Geek by Heart. And we're here to discuss Jupiter's legacy. Jupiter's legacy. Jupiter's legacy. If you're new to this channel, we speak about movies and TV shows that are basically geeky geek worthy blurdy so let's talk about we talk about like uh, comic book movies mm -hmm. horror movies mm -hmm. fantasy uh, fantasies okay video um, games the storms yeah everything that interests you please like share subscribe to our channel okay geek by heart and let's talk about it let's talk about it all right let's go Let's get into it. Let's get into it. For some reason, there's a lot of people that don't like this movie. Uh, you know uh, what? This series, I should say. I can honestly, honestly understand that. I think, first of all, mm. that it came on the heels of Invincible, which was a damn good series. Yeah. And to have, like, maybe not the way that it came out, but just the subject matter of, mm -hmm. like, superhero family issues mm -hmm. back to back. It probably killed it, to be honest and with you. And you know, the, the, the fear factor about it is that people, I think people are more um, embracing the idea of having a superhero movie where it's like back-to-back -back action and, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. But for me, I think I, I like character development. I like story development. I like to know what am I investing myself in within, you know, within this movie or this series that probably is is a part of the the, the comic book um, universe or whatever the case is i want to know and there's not a lot of people who knows uh, know about this because it's from guy who wrote um kick ass okay yeah and I, is, yeah. I was about to say because we didn't read the comic books so like mm -hmm. we only have like that much of like information about this the book. comic books to yeah. be said so when we're going to talk about this we're talking about jupiter legacy just from the actual netflix series yeah i think the guy the guy name is mark miller got you yep. Yeah, yeah yep. something like that first of all we got to discuss the characters in the in the in the film well i'm not gonna discuss a lot of characters because there was a lot yeah. <laughs> but um the most Dumel, important ones right josh Dumel Miles character Sheldon um, you know what I'm I would like to discuss the characters as it relates to the past and present because I feel like you can say a lot about certain characters in the past mm. and not as much as in the present mm. or vice versa yeah you know what I'm saying so like for instance Sheldon was a lot more interesting in the past than he was in the present mm. I felt he was very one-dimensional in the present mm. all he was it was about his code mm. I'm just like Dude, all right, really? Trying to see him get his powers or whatever. Like, we knew he was getting his powers, but he didn't. Mm. That was a lot more interesting to watch. Yeah, and of course, you have Walter um, and George. Mm -hmm. Both of them played a vital role within the series as well. Mm -hmm. um, Walter being his, his brother and George being his best friend. Yep. Um, they both had shared some sort of... Um, like hatred for each other at mm -hmm. the ending of the movie. We literally put in a in a in a frame of why are they because we haven't seen that mm -hmm. friction from during the movie. It's just like the TV um, show. <laughs> movie TV show. <laughs> like at the ending of the, the show it's like you're seeing that animosity between them. Um, so you wonder where all of that that, that hatred come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's weird. Yes. I, I understand what you're saying. Like in the past, they kind of hint to it, and in the present, because Sky Fox is not there, mm. it's just like I, it made me not even give a damn about the last fight mm. between Walter and and George. Yeah, exactly. Because of what was going on yeah. or lack thereof going on in the past, it made me be like, they fighting? Okay. Yeah. Whatever. What ex? <laughs> whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hutch, which. He he is to me. I think Hutch he stand out more to me than everyone else because he is actually um, 
he seems simply he's a human being he doesn't have super um super abilities but he does have the the staff mm -hmm. of um where we can you know go to wherever he wants to go just by saying that wherever he want to go mm -hmm. um but his character played a much important role within the show and um, of course, he and Chloe made out, um, mm -hmm. which is basically canon within the, in the, the comic comics. Book. Yep. So you know, I literally like Hutch, mm -hmm. just being that you know he's not a superhero, and he actually destroyed uh, one of the bosses, one of the most epic way possible. <laughs> yo, it was dope. Oh my it god. It was so. Oh my god. <laughs> yo, it was, so, yo, it was like yo, guys, heart. If you hate the show oh. series itself and you not like that part where he told the stuff in his heart and he and it went and he yo it was dope it was so, it was so good so good <laughs> but like going off even that mm. i actually like hutch as a character because the actor was just charismatic yeah like he to me actually brought a breath of fresh air mm -hmm. to everyone else being so serious and stoic yeah. and even hutch was serious and stoic in in ways too but he brought charisma to it mm -hmm. in a way that all the other actors did not yeah and you know funny talking about hutch chloe she was a bit annoying you know <laughs> to me i mean okay you're mad you're taking drugs you're a crackhead Let's, let's move on come on let's go and she and she seems to be very strong with her powers mm. as well but you don't see it that much mm -mm. but you do see it in certain parts of the series yeah. brandon has this this egotistical thing about him where he's trying to he's trying to make his father proud of him kind of thing and knowing that he can do whatever um possible or whatever power that can give him uh to do whatever he wants in in the series but he's it's like he's holding back a mm -hmm. lot and just because of the code basically but um you know brandon seems to be like he was there for the first part of the series and then at the middle to the last series um last episodes it's like he's no longer I agree. visible. So, you know, we haven't seen much of what Brandon is about or what his his characteristics are. So that kind of pissed me off. And I feel like I actually understand exactly where you're going with it because I felt like it was very uneven on how they gave like the spotlight to so many people. Mm -hmm. And yet I understand you have a big cast. Mm -hmm. But if you have a big cast and you gotta know how to use them, yeah. right? You gotta know how to interweave them into storylines so that they stay relevant. You're absolutely right. Brandon, mm -hmm. I felt like was relevant for the first, first cause he Boom. fuck up <laughs> Black Star. Yeah. Like he meshed that he had in. Yeah. It was so crazy. Yeah. But then after that, it was like, he's just in the so corner. So where are you? In the corner wibbling. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I I I I was okay with the characters. Um, I forgot the wife's name or whatever. Yeah. She was cool too, but again, she well, kind of got lost in the sauce or whatever because yeah. it really was about you know Sheldon and his journey. And I get that, but like mm. I said, if you're going to have a whole bunch of characters, then you need to know how to interweave them so that they still remain relevant in some way, shape, or form. So. I get that. So the final twist of the series, the final episode, um, I'm still trying to wonder what the what happened because I was a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know who was who or what was what or whatever the case is, but Walter killed his daughter, all right? And, um, and that shit was kind of badass. Actually. Yeah, actually, actually and I, you don't know uh, what George if George was Walter, um, where mm -hmm. they were talking to Sheldon, and that ear, that part was just killing me. I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you heard her. Okay. <laughs> the plot twist was, it was. I, I, I don't know what to. What, what what you think about the plot twist? So here's the thing. I'm going to judge it just for what it gives you. I'm going to assume that. Walter was just BSing, mm -hmm. okay, that there was no fight between him and George mm -hmm. and that he killed his his daughter. Mm -hmm. That I didn't see coming in a sense. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I kind of like it. It's something different. Mm -hmm. You don't usually see that, even though it kind of reeks a little bit of Invincible. But again, 
you're going to have the comparisons being that the two projects were released so close. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, to be honest with you though, the thing was, we were supposed to care that if he was fighting George, we were supposed to care about that. And again, because they didn't talk about Sky Fox and why Sky Fox left, I was like, fuck this. I'm like, yeah. so what? He's he, they, he's fighting George, your point. Same thing with Blackstar at the end when Sheldon and Brandon were fighting him too. Mm -hmm. Because they left Blackstar to be this big ass, kick ass dude, right? Mm -hmm. Then he dies supposedly in the first episode, then we find out he didn't die. But then after that, maybe one more scene where Walter went to go see him to set up this whole jailbreak to begin with, and that was it. I didn't give a shit if they were up there fighting him. It was a cool fight. It was a cool fight. It was a cool fight, yeah. but I didn't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I cared more about the fact that Sheldon was like, do I, do I not kill Black Star? He has my son. You see what I'm saying? Like that actually was a little bit more intriguing. Not that much, but a little bit more. Okay, intriguing than just the fight itself. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't care about it because you didn't give me anything to care with. What's the prediction? What you what you think about what's going to happen in the next? Because I know they're going to have a next season. Yes. Um, again, so you know what what you think is was going to happen, or what you think should be they should bring back in the next season. I think their strength was actually building the 1920s character versions mm -hmm. of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping now in season two, mm -hmm. we're actually going to see what the hell happened with Sky Fox and why he left. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you kind of know why he left. He didn't, yeah. you so, know, agree with the code or whatever yeah, the case may basically. be. But like, I want to see that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then I can understand and have like an emotional pull towards, oh, that's why he left? Oh, that's why him and Walter ain't don't mess with each other? Oh, okay, I'm cool with that. Um, I kinda wanna see where Hutch and Chloe are going. I actually wanna see that Chloe becomes a villain. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that, cause she's strong as shit. Yep. I wanna see her and Sheldon go off. Yep. Again, I'm trying not to be like invisible, invincible, but still, I still wanna see that happen. Well, the, the, for me, I, I totally want to get more because we left it we left stranded um with a lot of questions not being answered yeah, some of the few things that uh some of the questions that weren't answered was um what happened to the group well you know how they ended up being against each other how did sky fox um george actually um ended up being on the other side uh, against them um and another thing you notice that the six characters had powers but in the whole entire series you have different individuals within the series that have powers as well so how did they do how did they they get powers, they get powers? Mm -hmm. um that wasn't being um that wasn't answered and you know a few little stuff that i, I was hope I, i'm hoping that they actually carry across you say something that i kind of forgot to say like i actually wish they would have explained why they got the powers they got. Mm, yeah. You spent so long to getting to these powers. Mm -hmm. Then they had a beautiful scene about like, even paying off just a throwaway line like, oh, if you could see somebody, who would you see? And then they each answered. And then when they got to where they were supposed to, I guess it was Jupiter, mm -hmm. okay? When they got to where they were supposed to, they now get their powers supposedly from people that they were talking about they wish they would see. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see that more drawn out and I wanted to see them actually get why they got their specific powers. Um, overall I think um, I, I did like it and I, I can't I can't shit on it totally. I can probably give it a little a little fart on it. Stupid. Like, <laughs> you know, not like the wet fart, but it's a dry <laughs> fart. Um, basically, uh, it's it's it has potential. You know, when she's dying. I can't. You can still go for it. So it has a it has a bit of potential, and I can understand why 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 folks literally don't like it. But I I kind of like it. Um, actually kind of developing me for the next season to see what they're going to be mm -hmm. up against and as well as questions um, being answered properly so that we can have a good idea for, of what these characters are about. What's your thought? I thought it was average. Mm. I thought it was average. I thought that there were times that 
the actors themselves were taking it way too seriously, mm -hmm. which made it come off very stiff. Mm -hmm. Like I said, for me, I'm still like, you know, like just enamored with Hutch because I thought he was the most authentic of everybody, mm. charismatic and still did and, and portrayed himself the way he was supposed to. Gotcha. And even though Chloe's wig, because I don't understand, Chloe's wig. I don't understand <laughs> how this is Hollywood oh, and homegirl had a wig like, like, Come on, really? Like, I just thought it was average. Mm. It, it, it wasn't that special. Um, it wasn't terrible. Average. Yeah, Good Geeks about it was the first huge fight scene that they had. True. With um, with uh, uh, Black Star. Black Star. Yeah, Black Star. Yeah. They had each characters had different abilities, like X Men. Um, there was this um, part of the series where the dude like slow down time. That was fucking awesome. That was. Um, of course, you had different individuals that have different abilities. I like that. I like that. My bad geeks are just basically um, the explaining the, 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 the fact of explaining stuff within the, in the series. They don't kill that so that we could understand as people who have not read the comics mm -hmm. or don't understand what's going on. And the villains. Um, oh my God! One of the villains looked like Thanos. Like Thanos. The, the it was a black star. I didn't think he did. I think he looked like Thanos. 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 <laughs> Thanos. I. I Thanos. <laughs> He's stupid. For me, again, I'm trying to say something that I didn't already say, but I felt like it was already said, so I'm just gonna stamp it as Michael Geeks or whatever. The last fight, the fight itself between Black Star, Sheldon, and Brandon, I liked. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't care of the gravitas, like this is supposed to be a heavy moment, mm -hmm. but I did like the fight itself. I, I, I do like Hutch as a character, I will always say that. I do like Chloe as a character, I will always say that as well. Mm -hmm. I think that they were the two strongest out of all the characters that I enjoyed watching and I wish I had seen more. Okay. Um, and I think my favorite part again was when Hutch was like, dude's heart, and it disappears. And then he's like, home. And, and we, we were like, oh, yeah, that part was crazy. shit, like we, that part we was lost crazy. our shit. And then to back it up with when he was like with the twins, I guess, or whatever, he sent mm -hmm. one to the to the ocean, yeah, which I heard was canon. Right, which I, which I heard was canon as well. Mm -hmm. And then when he was like home and then you saw like a little bit of the squid come out or whatever the game to be. That was crazy. I thought that was that so was crazy. crazy. So what I didn't like, all my, my bad geeks about it, first of all, I thought the code was annoying. I, I, um, I feel like we need to see something different from a superhero other than some like code that first of all, I understand it, makes sense, I guess, but I also felt it was too rigid. Mm. And therefore, because of that, you do get conflict, but because of that, you, that would have been a perfect way to actually expose conflict. They mm. set it up way too much with what was going on in the past than for us to really focus on what's going on in the present. And then the biggest conflict at the end was a present conflict, not the past conflict. We're, we're, we have just started watching Love, Death, and Robot. I kept saying it was Love, Sex, and Robots. But <laughs> oh my God. I'm saying I kept saying that. Yeah, Love, Death, and Robot. We just started watching it, so it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, we will definitely give you a review on that. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on Geek by Heart. Of yes. course, you can visit us on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, at Geek by Heart. And of course, um, feel free to subscribe, please. Yep. Uh, join us in our conversations in the comments. Below. Below. And watch right. some of the other stuff that some is floating around. I think it's probably like right here, here. and probably like right there. It it's not it usually down below, but not you know it is what it, it is. is. Yeah. All right. And I am Lainey. This I'm is. Jay. And we are Geek by Heart. We will see you when we see you when we see you.